I am Courtney. And I'm April. And we are doing a, what are we calling this? The, the pair, we are, we're pairing up, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, we got this girl. Okay. There's, get it. Pair. Oh, pair. I got me. <laughs> oh my god, that made me cry. Hey, I'm Courtney. And I'm April. We've teamed up for a Thanksgiving pairing of sorts. Yes. Well, we have, that. I mean, just the most amazing, fabulous designer who's going to give us great tips, right? On yeah. the table. Yes, tablescapes. And then Courtney, who is doing an appetizer and a, a cocktail. cocktail. My specialty. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all kind of centered around pairs and Thanksgiving. And if you're hosting, these will just be great tips mm -hmm. uh, that you can carry into your own Thanksgiving. Or if you want to bring some of what Courtney's making to somebody else's house, you yep. could also do that. So if you're not a appetizer, perfect cocktail, everything is so festive. doing my table for Thanksgiving. I'm having Courtney over to help um, with all of the foods and arrangements of those types of things, but for this table, I kept it pretty simple. I like things that don't take a lot of time and don't have a lot of fuss to them just because um, it's easy, it can be just as impactful and beautiful. We took our napkin, but any napkin will do, and a napkin ring, and we just tied a knot at the top. And then I just have a three-piece setting, just two plates and a bowl, whichever is fine. And then I place it kind of in the center and just play around with it. I, I had them over the side, but I felt like it was a little too much. So now I'm just like kind of placing them almost like a blanket over the front. And then we're using pears for this table. And we just set them inside of the bowl. We have pears kind of running the table. Um, Courtney is starting to bring in the food. So this is some bread and she's about to bring more things to the table. And as far as like your florals go, you can literally go get them out of your backyard. There's so many beautiful fall colors. I like a monochromatic arrangement. That's just me, but that is literally probably only me. A lot of people like a lot of different mixtures and that's completely okay. It really matters what you like and what makes you happy and what makes you feel like it's Thanksgiving. So for me, we picked this like red um, arrangement and we just did all monochromatic. Okay, so this is the best holiday appetizer ever, whether it's for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, or going to a holiday party, everybody is gonna love this. It's my crispy baked porcelain. It's super easy to make and it's extremely delicious. All that you need, you need your um, little block of porcelain. I'm using the garlic and herb, but they have a shallot and chive, like whatever flavor you want, that's what you're gonna use. I find that honestly, it's better to leave it cold up until the second you're about to prep and cook this, just cause it kind of keeps together a little bit easier. Then you need three separate bowls for our seasoning situation. I have a bowl of flour here that I'm gonna dredge my borsin in and I'm gonna dust it off so that there's no extra flour. Then I have a beaten egg that I'm gonna coat that in as well. Then I'm putting it directly into seasoned bread, uh, panko bread crumbs, and that's all you do. I have my oven preheating to 410 degrees. It's gonna bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. I may even hit broil if I need to to get a little extra brown and crispy and cheesy. That's it. Okay, and now for my specialty, the cocktail. I'm making a pear pomegranate martini. It's made with gin, a little bit of St. Germain, and then I made a quick rosemary pear simple syrup to really drive that pear note home, and it's so delicious. The nice thing about this too is you can actually make it in a big batch. All that you would do is take my recipe and multiply it times however many people you're serving and put it to a pitcher and you're good to go. You can make it the morning of Thanksgiving so it's out of the way and done. I'm gonna pour in four ounces of fresh pomegranate juice. Make sure you're not getting the sweetened kind because we actually really want that tartness that pomegranate juice gives you. Now I'm putting in um, one ounce of St. Germain. I'm gonna do two ounces of gin. Perfect. Then to help kind of cut through that tartness, we're gonna do a little bit of our rosemary pear simple syrup. In a little pot, you would take equal parts sugar and water, and then you boil that till the sugar evaporate, evaporates. Then you're just gonna throw in a couple of rosemary sprigs and some pear slices, and there you go. It keeps for a week in an airtight container in the fridge, but it's great to have for the holidays. I'm gonna put in, I'm measuring with my heart, 
maybe an ounce or so. Then to balance everything out, we're gonna squeeze in some fresh, hear me when I say, fresh, fresh, fresh lemon juice. Never use the bottled stuff, spend 80 cents and get you a fresh lemon. It's just better. Let's shake her up and uh, see how I did. Call this cocktail cardio, it's the only exercise I'm gonna get this week. <laughs> it's better to over shake than it is under shake. You want this to be nice and cold. You see that color? Uh, I think. Look, it says festive like a pomegranate martini. Try to do this right. Oh, I'm good. If you have a table for uh, hosting that you don't really, really love. Another thing that you can do is put a tablecloth over your table and do the exact same table. That was kind of our thought when we introduced our table blankets and our tablecloths were that a lot of people, they're not in love with their table. So sometimes during the year, I'll have a table blanket over my very, very long table uh, for multiple reasons, because I want to set a different type of style or I want to protect it. And during Thanksgiving is a great time to protect your table. Um, one other way that I've seen it used recently from somebody that purchased it, which I really loved, um, and one of our designers kind of did the same thing, is they had too many people over for Thanksgiving, too many people over for the holidays. So they purchased our table blankets and some of our smaller size tablecloths, and they did fold out tables beside their dining table for extra seating so that everything kind of looked more consistent and you couldn't tell their real table from their fold out table. Um, and I thought that was a really great way to use a tablecloth and just to make it feel warmer. Cheers, girl. Cheers. Can that be our intro? <laughs> that should be the intro. That's definitely part of it. But